Um, I'm Tony Scott, Atlas Spaceman, and I know a lot of you are doing um, balloon launches uh, for the Global Space Balloon Challenge, and I just thought I'd record this video, give some a few tips about building a capsule and doing a launch. I know some of you are doing it for the first time, so hopefully you might pick up a few tips. Um, I know others have uh, done a load of launches and quite experienced, so this is more for the beginners. Um, the first thing you probably have to build, of course, is your, your capsule, which is typically a polystyrene box. Um, can be all shapes and sizes, depending on um, your, your payload contents and what's going into it. This is the one I'm using for the uh, space, uh, Global Space Balloon Challenge. Um, just a tiny little box, got a hole there for a camera. Um, this here is the first capsule that I built um, a couple of years ago. It still survived, but it's much bigger. Um, <clears throat> uh, if we look um, inside the capsule, it pops off, and basically I've divided it into uh, some compartments for the uh, various devices that are going inside. As I said, I've got a hole there for a uh, camera, a um, place for some batteries, and for some tracking devices, and whatever else I want to put inside it. Um, pop the lid on. Usually, you want to uh, protect your, your polystyrene case. Um, I use uh, an aluminium adhesive tape. I find it's uh, very sticky holds very well on the polystyrene and gives a good um, reflective surface which is uh, a lot easier to spot if it lands in, in bushes or in a field you can usually pick up the sunlight reflecting off of the silver and uh, maybe even a plane's radar might, uh, might pick up the reflective aluminium who knows but uh, I find that's, uh, that's a very good tape uh, to use just to, to put around your capsule when I've got this assembled and ready to launch, I'll be putting some more around the side just to uh, secure the, the, the lid onto the capsule. So next I'd like to move on to what I'm actually putting inside and hopefully something you'll be doing something similar. The first thing we've got is the camera. There's various types of cameras on the market. Uh, it's down to personal choice which one that uh, you'll use. I know the, uh, the GoPro is very popular. It's a very reliable, high, high definition camera, very easy to work with. I'll be using a GoPro in this capsule. And I made a hole in the capsule as I've showed you here. And just chamfered out the edges here, just to give a good wide angle to unobstructed view. And I've put some uh, silicon sealant inside just to give the, the camera a nice snug fit when it goes inside. We're putting some packing behind it as well just to keep it secure. So that's the first camera I'm using. Um, I also am going to use a miniature CCTV camera. Again, you can get these in all shapes and sizes. This is a high definition camera. It's very light, got a good quality lens. And to go with that, I'm using a cheap uh, miniature uh, SD card video recorder, which I got on eBay. I've taken the aluminium casing out of it just to save weight. Um, this came with a little battery pack, which I'm not going to be using. I'm going to be using some other types of batteries. Um, your camera plugs into this. Uh, this camera, in fact, is going to be going on an external framework, which I've built just under some uh, plastic uh, tubing. That's going to be attaching to the side of the capsule and the camera's going to be mounted on the end. So that's going to be viewing the, uh, the balloon and up into space. So hopefully it will capture the capsule, the balloon stack and the balloon. Uh, again, what you do is up to yourself. Everyone's got their own uh, you know, designs. That's what I'm doing on this launch. Um, there are other cameras available. Uh, another one I've used in the past is the, uh, the Kodak uh, PlaySport. This is one here. I'm actually shooting this uh, uh, video on a PlaySport as well. Um, I've, some people don't like these. I've found them to be quite reliable. Um, 
what I've done with these is I've hacked it somewhat. I've taken the battery pack that comes with it out and I've soldered some wires onto the battery terminals inside the camera. And uh, what I've done then is I've taken, you get two sets of batteries with it when you buy it. So I've soldered two of these, I've soldered wires to these battery terminals and so I take them together and so I'm using two batteries instead of one which gives you longer uh, recording time. But again, it's, it's personal preference what you use.